Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, guys? What's going on? Crazy out here. It is time for some game dev. Here we go. What's good? Oh, look at me fading. Not not intentional, but I'll take it. All right. So today we are working on this collection screen, being able to unlock cards. Uh, we have a kind of system on how it's going to be made so far, and then uh, we will be adding in the actual art assets when they are ready. But in the meantime, I have to figure out how to get this scroll bar to cooperate because it is currently not. And I don't know why it's not. Like if I go like this, they're literally having problems with it. Like that shouldn't be a thing. There's more content this way, right? Like it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be stopped. There's no, the scroll bar doesn't look scrolly. Right? Now I don't understand entirely why, unless this, no, it's these. These should be fine. This, this, it should note that, that they exist. Oh, maybe. I need a horizontal layout group. Holy moly. Control shadow size, no. Okay. Go like that. So what if I went like this? I do a horizontal layout group here. Get rid of the child size, so we don't control that. Right? It's Starts so middle left. What is happening here? That would be why the content is not the, the entire thing. That doesn't make any sense. Weird. Okay. Um. That's the first issue, it's kind of odd. Okay, so we need to pad left and then we need to um, facing up like 180. 180 total. So what if we did like zero here? Okay, so it's less than that. These pieces are how far apart? 100, 100. Okay. Why is this telling me that the spacing is so big? Whew. Okay, uh, let's go all the way on top of each other, stack it. Look at that. Zero. Aha! Okay, so it's supposed to be 180 apart, right? So we'll just go like this. Then we'll do plus, uh, plus 130. There you go. 32.8. Alright, so if I go like that, does it work? Nope. Does this weird scroll bar thing. It's like, hey, we have more scroll bar stuff. I it turned off the vertical. I'm confused. Scroll view, auto hide vertical. Explain why there is a vertical viewport then. That shouldn't be a thing. That was an auto hide for the vertical. I'm about to rip the vertical out. Literally. Grumpy Game Day, what's up? How you doing? Let's see it. What if I turn vertical off? Uh -huh, not turn it off. How you doing? Thanks for the raid, buddy. Much appreciated. You are awesome as always. Really? You just can't turn it off? That's weird. 
Get the glasses on, so this is serious. Yeah, yeah, I figured I'd stream with glasses on today just for fun, you know? Get the aesthetic. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Much appreciated. I wanted to be able to see. Today felt like a seeing day. You know? Give him some love. He's an awesome dev. Oh, your eyes are having very loose today. You can't see contacts. Oh, I don't wear contacts. I don't wear them. Figure that one out. None. Okay, if I was a scroll bar, that was easy. You just want to put your finger in your eye. Yes, you're right. That's something I don't. Five points to grab. Of, of all the things, that's definitely one of them. For sure. Okay, so. So if we have that new thing set up, I don't need to add this. And we will do this. So I watched the like, Mario Bros. movie with my kids yesterday, and we were discussing it in chat. Oh, great movie! Great movie. Saw with my kids too. It was actually really awesome. Because of the sorts of nerdy wells I have. Oh, the the ellipsis. We started discussing the uh, compatibility between Peach and Bowser. Um, I think he's too needy for her. And she's somebody who needs to be taken care of. But perceives... In the movie, she acts as this rowdy-towdy, rough-and-tough character that's not ever established in the games. We included, concluded that Bowser's an incel. Oh my goodness. She's definitely this, like, super rough person in the game, though. I can beat up Bowser, I'm not worried about a thing, right? Not exactly that compatibility. On a physical aspect. Oh, like how, like, she's attractive and he's not. Like, if they were to get together, it would be because of Bowser was funny. Like that. Maybe because he had a devilish charm, but not because of the good looks. Plasticity 1, inertia, 0.4 deceleration rate, scroll sensitivity 1. Auto hide vertical bar. Viewport is viewport. Yeah. Viewport is a viewport. That's for sure. Wait. Why? Why is a scroll bar not scroll barley? Scroll barley. The turn hot dog in a hallway was mentioned at one point? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's hysterical. Oh, <clears throat> Had to stretch it out. Alright. I do not understand why this isn't working. We have a scroll bar. 1700 width, so nice and big. We are all juveniles on my stream? Yeah, pretty much. It's great though, it's a good time, for sure. For sure, a good time. Like, you've tempted me with a good time. Um... Dude, I don't get it. I figured the horizontal layout group was gonna fix this, and it didn't? I don't see where the difference is. When juveniles push you 50, you see Grumpy Game Dev stream. Where all the juveniles hang out? Scroll sensitivity is on. Deceleration rate is good. There's inertia. Elasticity is one. What I want? I think so. 
Because if, if, okay. Here's the weird part, right? Look now, much still need to do today? I hear you, I hear you. But I can't go there like this. I can't do that. The game would break. Reloader. Okay. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. We have a very similar roll box. It's just, it's just vertical, not horizontal. But why is it so difficult? It's not snapping back here. I don't know what I did different here. And look, it's perfect. It's annoying me what it's doing. I'm about to take this scroll box and drop it in. Turned off horizontal, vertical is on. Okay. The content's all there. They're in a grid layout. Content size fader. There's no way that that's what it was. Nope. There's no way. Facing. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what spacing means in the vertical scroll bar. Um, I don't get it. But I'm about to copy paste it. And see if that fixes it. Like I'm that, uh, that's how close I am right now. Um, beta system. Let me just grab this. I want this this scroll wrecked. Fine. Wait. Like, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I actually just want just want the scroll wrecked itself. Scroll. Lost it. There it is. This guy. Viewport. Okay. Content. Okay. Oh, is the Y start at zero? The, the stretch is wrong. Stretch is wrong. This would be a horizontal stretch for the content. Is that the entire issue? Maybe it should be this. That way the X gets created. I don't know. Wait, I have to go back. I must view this again. I'll figure this thing out. X zero zero zero. So it does have a zero, 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 zero. And then when you add stuff and you do a preferred size on the vertical fit, perfect. The preferred size on the horizontal fit, then. Or this is frustrating. Scroll view, viewport, content, image. Content, zero, zero, zero. With content size fitter. Horizontal fit, preferred size. Oh! Amazing! Yeah, that's great now. That, look at that. Look how great that is. It moves a little too fast. How we reduce the speed that we can drag that. The speed we drag that is based on the scroll sensitivity. Still too much. Damn. Okay, I think I have to do it. too much. Wait, one. Oh, 
it's not scroll sensitivity. This number does not do anything at all. It's not that. Is it this? So maybe that's zero. It'll just stay at one spot. I can just drag it and it doesn't it doesn't have the way to slap back. Okay, so I still think we're like I like that is zero. I don't understand is the inertia. But turn off the inertia and I said you to have. That's weird. It needs to have inertia. Okay, so the inertia needs to be there for sure. Acceleration rate of 0.9 instead of 0.4. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. I don't know how I figured that was gonna work. I figured the higher the rate, the faster it is. case we're going to reduce this even more and we'll slide a little bit like that I like that even more cool. okay well now that's great so now I have to turn off the vertical the verticals off wolf we'll friggin make it go off Jeez. can it go off I just delete it. It's gonna give me errors. No. Okay. So now I need to add in. Uh, I need a mask on this object. Mask on top. We need to put another UI image here for the SP or the mask. And we're gonna put a mask here. And not show the mask perfect. And now we do White box. He's actually going slider instead. Right. We need to actually make that a slider. So we're going to UI slider. Keep the sliders just in the way. If it works, it works. Handle. I don't think we need a handle. We have to need the background to be the right thing. Let's be background. Fill area. Fill. Be regular. Okay. Lighter. 
fresh weir. Why do you get a bigger? Because the fill is preserved aspect, probably. Okay. And now, max value. Now what we do here is we go like this. Then what we need to do is the fill needs to exist the width of the fill area. Huh? Like all the way. It would be what equal to the equal to the width of the content. Supposed to be with the content. Okay, so we need the parent object of the content holder. Okay, so content and at the end of instantiating all of these, right? Then we need to do. value is going to equal ISCCL. Cool. You see how fill dot, what's this called? Dot fill rect. Dot so that'd be size delta equals a new vector two of uh, is going to be the CCL holder CCL holder dot not a rect transform we can make that a rect transform yeah we can okay size delta x and CCL Fill, fill rect, size delta, y. Okay. Okay. Is this going to update that rect transform? No, it needs the, it needs the slider. Because it's now thirty thousand, the size of the slider. What should be the sliders width? Got it. Not the fill rect. Transform. CL fill dot get component right transform. Equals X and 
might work now. This needs to be the size. I wish I could grab this and parent it to that. From a from a separate Right? Do I could grab this information? Because all I need to do, all we really need to do is change this width. I made it with 32. And we made this like this. We go zero. Slider's perfect. Don't move the slider. Maybe. Maybe don't move the slider at all. Right? Slider is wrong. So... Slider is currently not at five. It needs to be. So ten forty. Maybe a thousand forty. So when I can do ten. with it here. I'll do that. Don't do that to yourself. Do that to yourself, Chris. Okay. Okay. Now we can go like this. Amazing. Really good. Off by a lot. 
Okay. Um, um, I need to do some math to get that extra spot. Five is good, and at one point it just sucks. It just completely blows at one point. <laughs> okay. So if I went to like 30, the 30 is okay. Oh, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if it was right. Because the slider is not built into the size fitter. Holy moly. Into the viewport. Is it the viewport that it has to be inside? Put it in the wrong spot? Maybe. That might work. No. I want the slider bar. I want the slider bar to be part of the content. So when I slide it, it doesn't. Right? I want part of this. However, it's going to screw with it. Right? So what I can do is I can go like this and put all of these in a new holder. Shoot, I didn't mean to screw that up. Form, copy, paste values. Put these inside here. What? I'm confused there. Let's go like that. This guy needs to go inside there. Guy needs to go there. Okay. 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 This is gonna break. Content. I put the XP bar inside content. Right? Now we have a new holder. Now our new holder is this game object. Could be okay. Nice. Woo! Okay then. Alright. Why is there a big X? what the big X is for. But I'll take it. You know, if it's working, it's working. I'm not going to complain on it. Um, position X to zero. Okay. Up and bottom are doing a weird thing. Oh, it's backward. Zero, 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 one, zero, one. Zero, 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 one, zero, one. That might be it. But it's so weird, man. Why? I don't know. Why is it a red X there? It looks fine. If it looks fine, it looks fine, right? We're not gonna, we're not gonna screw with it. So now, so now, really, man, you kidding me, right? Like, that's fitter on the content. What the heck? Not that size fitter. The horizontal group. Okay. I'm not sure I see what the problem is here. Like, at all. From what I can tell, it looks fine. Minus this giant X on the screen, which kind of sucks. Let's bring you down. 
to zero, zero. Okay. Does that fix that? No, because there needs to be a content size fitter on this guy also. Because we don't have a way to show how much is actually happening in here. Okay. Although having that bar be big enough, I don't know. Okay, preferred size. Nope. I think it's based on the, I think it's based on this object. I think this is not a matter. Uh, this is not the matter. This, that the size of this doesn't matter anymore for some reason, but it should right? Like that should be grounds to be able to move this, no problem. But I feel like this is stopping it from being a thing. No, dude, I just had it. I just had it, and now I don't have it anymore. Hmm. I was so close. I had it without the bar being able to move. Okay, this is my other the, my other option. My other option is pull this stuff back out of here. Right? Pull these guys back up here, right? Where'd I go? Where did I just grip that horizontal guy to? Pull that guy back up here. Bring you inside the first one. size fitter, horizontal layout group. This bar needs to slide itself down. Deck to zero, probably. He's going too far. Where's the number? So this just needs to be behind. So the very first one needs to be an unpacked prefab. I need to pull it behind the connecting board. Right? Like that's that was the that's the biggest issue there, was it? Now it'll cooperate, right? Because the freaking mask mask content not being a button anymore, right? So there's the mask being annoying. Smaller. That. Okay. Because we didn't reset the the content box. Okay. There it goes. We freaking did it. Okay. We literally had to fake it. <laughs> like this is just all this is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, so the slider exists inside the first object, which is hysterical, but it works. If I make this value 120, it's not right. Or is it? It is right. But it's not going past it for some reason? Is that because this is not fill this area. Um, I almost have it. I am like so close. 
But for some reason, when the slider goes past a certain value, it just stops valuing. Which is really annoying. Why would that be a thing? The only thing I can think of is that this isn't just, just don't belong. Right? If I like literally just made the width of this bigger, it'd be okay. And I think. Slider with 32,000. Navigation, none. Interactable, no. Nothing when you hover it. Okay, so left to right, whole numbers. When you go past 45, we have an issue. <laughs> right? Um, can I go like this instead? And then it can just be as long as it wants to be. It'll be 32,000 now. Trying to make the scale any bigger. Why? Why are you doing this? Zero. Zero. It's still doing it. It's not showing. It's not going past that object, and it's not a not a viewport issue, so it's not a masking problem. It's this XP bar mask is not the really, Oh, it's just that? Are you kidding me? All this stuff I've been messing with. I don't know what this was at. Star mask was not big enough, um, but it needs to be big enough from the same direction as this one. Uh, it needs to be it's not bad. So it's not growing the right direction, right? So the, the pivot needs to be zero. Okay, now the slider is still not bottom. <laughs> and that's because zero. Bill's being weird. Okay, so I've, I've screwed the slider up way too hard. We're just gonna make another slider. We're just gonna, we're gonna stop screwing with it. So let's turn off the interactable, turn off that, turn off this. Take the handle and hide it. Right? Uh, we're gonna bring the slider to be negative 1157 and 32,000. Negative. Okay. It's gonna be twelve hundred. Full numbers. The background area is gonna be the card XP background, and the foreground area. Now, negative 
37. And 32,000. Okay, the less things we change, I think the better off we're going to be. Uh, I can turn off the slider now. See how close we are. It's being real weird. So... That's because this is simple and not, not, this is not a filled, some, for some reason. No, it doesn't need to be. Are all sliders simple there? Holy shit, they are. That's crazy. Okay. This is a three. Okay, this is still an issue. I don't. I'm so like, f is flabbergasted the right word? Because I feel like it is. Why is it so hard to do a slider? Oh, it's why I don't like sliders. <laughs> but now I can probably just do an image. Now I know how this all works. Hold on a second. Image. Okay. Image. Card. XP. Okay. Billet. Horizontal. Come on, it's just zero to one, so we have to figure it out that way. Uh, it has to be here. Or I guess we left the line it. Negative 1157. And it's 32,000 long. Can I even do that? Does that not work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Oh, it works. It's just awkwardly large. So you're telling me <clears throat> that if I were to take this and we go the actual width of that object, it's a little bit like that. We're up, I think, up three, maybe four. They're not even lined up. Mess. Okay. Bring you up here. The XP bar mask. Get rid of this guy for now. Right? We bring this number equal to 5 out of 12,000. Right? Which brings me where? How am I going to get this to cooperate? Like, where am I currently? What is it? Okay. You seven pot of greaves, lots of draw three additional cards from your deck. What's up, Ice Craig? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hmm. Hmm. I think how I want this to work. So part of this issue is that this object, this image here, it's got, a, it's got a transparent area over here. A transparent over here. So, although this looks awesome, it doesn't work. I do not know what to do. 
Ask chat, see if chat knows the answer. The issue currently is that this, so when we are in play mode, it makes enough objects for 1,200 levels. This is what I have it set as the highest collection level right now is 1,200. Right? However, this number, this slider needs to sync with that. And it's currently not. I mean, it's... It works, right? <laughs> it works, but how do I know that that point one here, or point zero nine eight, this point one's probably too far. Point one and apparently eighty three out of twelve hundred, so it's not right. So how do I, how do I make that correct, right? I think that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Is I don't understand it. currently at 83 because it's 10% of, I guess, 1,200? Does this fully... So at 100%, we only get to 1060, 1070. It stretches like a monster. Right? So, maybe it should be sliced instead of t instead of filled if we slice it instead of filling it we tile it something i don't i don't know what to do here i am not sure you want to extend 1200 i do and a slider wasn't cutting it for us was not the slider is not cutting the cheese, man. Well, I wanted to extend to whatever the, the highest collection level is, right? And that's that's set here. So the highest collection level is twelve hundred. So this is going to create a new object every five. <coughs> and so it's going to create a new object every five. I wanted to select, I wanted to be able to go, I want to be able to go collection level equals 56, and it, when you get to the screen, that bar is at 56. That's what I want to do. Right? That makes sense? I do not know. I'm not sure. Open up where the sliders programmed. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, it's it's not in editor at all. It's or it's not in a it's not in code at all. It's just right. It's not even a slider. I tried a slider. Slider didn't work well at all. Slider kept breaking, so I'm using an image fill amount instead. So a slider makes sense between zero to twelve thousand. Having the slider be all whole numbers or zero to 1200 and have the slider equal five out of 1200, 10 out of 1200, right? Like that makes sense. I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> it absolutely hates me. Um, so I don't know what to do about this yet. We have the cards unlocked though. Look at that. How cool that is. Great. So I don't know the exact issue. Like I don't I know what I want to happen, but I don't know how to make it happen. If that makes sense. Like I've never had a slider. be not zero to one. <laughs> so then having the slider go in and go, yeah, the value of it is zero to 1200 or something. I mean, I could try one that is just literally zero to 1200 and see if that actually works. I don't know if it's gonna work though. You know, let me, let me try a different slider. Right, it should go to 1200. Exactly my issue. Exactly my problem. Okay. The slider. Slider is in the back. Is in the mask, right? We have a mask here. Can't you widen it? Probably. So if I make you about thirty-two thousand for the whip, right? Roughly what we're looking at is about that big. Sixty-seven for the height. Make the color just hit the color up. Right. Going to fill and we'll tint, we'll tint it orange just to keep it in the same kind of vibe. Not that it's gonna work anyway, apparently. Background is gonna be we'll just do this and then. Okay. Mathematician, you can do any particular number. Oh, absolutely. There sh absolutely should be, right? So if I do whole numbers, I do 1,200 is the max. Right? We should be there. That should be it. That should work. Right? I should be able to do five. I should be able to just do five. And five should bring me... Five should bring me there, right? So ten. That should work. This should work. Maybe, but we have extra. So now, what do I do with the extra? Right. So now we have extra left over in the background. We got extra space now. So I can just take a second fill, drop it out of there, bring it back. Something. Where is it? Okay. That was a weird, weird thing going on there. So if I go like this and I make these both white box. There we go. What's up, Graham? How you doing, bud? Good to see you. This could work. 
Let's see how close this actually is as a number. Okay. That's 10. What if I did 67? Close are we? Okay. Okay. Let's do a bigger number. Let's do uh, 631. Thirty-three. So we're off a little bit, right? And the biggest way to tell this is twelve hundred, and see how close we actually are. We're off the smallest amount. It needs to be if the width here. Oh, it does use a five a five gapper. That's not having a difference. What just happened? What did I just do? I'll do that. Okay. Okay. So. So. If. This is totally how they do this. They just kind of like screw with it. This is how people do. This is how companies do these freaking scroll bars. The UI designer just screws with it until it works, right? The fill. Where's the content? 32. Content is 32039. Try that. Okay. I don't think that's going to make a difference, but we'll, we'll definitely try. Seven. Needs to go feather. Feather, sir. Okay. If I were to bring you down to. Let's just mess with both of them. Why does that happen? How can you hit that? It's like, nah. Where'd it go? Like what happened? Why did that all of a sudden break? Because I believe like negative five, negative five or something like that. Thirty-two thousand. Zero. Ladder width. get this 1187 now I bring you to 3500 3500 Let's see still 1187 isn't that highest in 32767 can I do 32768 Must be a float. Must be a float. Do we are either close or not close enough? We're either there or we're not, right? Like it's lit oh the width. Yeah. 33,000. Okay. Okay. So now you're telling me something. So now if I were to go here... Now I'm learning. He's learning. Okay. So 1,200. This needs to equal the same content width. 32039. Nope. 
does not mean anything. People, that is 1200. Owner south of the brown bar. Yeah, right there, right? And now we're saying 1170. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it down, right? Because I can do like 555 now. Yeah. So it's, okay, so 31,890. Okay. So I just gotta, if I add more collection level, we have to adjust that. No, it's still not right. What was that because of? It wasn't this mask. It was this mask. But. Okay, so this needs to be 32. 30. We'll just make the mask 33,000. I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> I don't understand. It just works sometimes. Sometimes it just works. That looks good. Freaking let's go. Okay. Alright, so now. Yay! No! Yay! No! <laughs> yeah. That's how it kind of feels sometimes, doesn't it? I want to make you right in the middle. Actually, prefab update. I want to make you right in the middle. Better. Negative 84. Just what? It's amazing. Okay, so now, amazing. Now what? Now I have to sync the level to the slider. <laughs> Outline? Yeah, no. The they are they are going to be using a new text, and this is going to actually look more like the current concept is going to look more like this instead much easier to read just we are currently yeah you know, in the process of, of mocking that up doesn't it RUI artist is insane it's so good okay so now we have this working. So now I, all I have to do here now is change the slider's value to its level. How do I do that? Max value is high CCL. Got it. CCL fill dot value equals the combined collection level, which exists in the <coughs> not in game not it's not in this not in this one it's in the collection of game manager isn't it isn't it in here get combined collection level hmm where did I put this? Not update breakdowns. It is on the start. When you build the collection, combined profile level is this guy. Level manager, get combined profile level. I have figured it out. In. Okay. Now, I need to get to this screen from somewhere. We just need to make sure the level manager exists in here, actually. Oh, he does. We gonna, is this gonna work? No. No, it didn't work. Why, why would it work? That would be so simple if it worked. That's silly. 
Oh yeah, guys, we have a Kickstarter. 197 followers want to know when this goes live. You can also be one of them too. We have a lot of cool things happening in the Kickstarter. Like uh, four card variants, all in part of a biker gang version. We have uh, a digital art book, a physical art book, a digital soundtrack, a collector's edition. Um, we have in-game currency and premium currency that you can get by backing uh, and more stuff. So that's the whole thing. That for sure. Okay, so it worked, but it didn't work, right? What I got out of that is that the max value and value, so that should be a slider again. It is a slider. CCL, I pull, I'm on the wrong thing. CCL fill slider, not the, not that one, wrong one. This slider. I do some Kickstarter followers. We do a lot of um, Twitter marketing. <gasps> hey! That looks right. Is it 58? Is that our is that our thing? Let's find out. Let's go to the car collection screen. I can't do it from there. It's gonna be successful. Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Um, but we are we're st so even after hitting 197, we are not at we're not considered a project they love for some reason. Um, so I think we're not going to show up on the front page or like anywhere. Um, so I'm trying. I'm marketing my butt off. <laughs> I've never marketed so hard in my life, and I'm marketing hard. Um. It's not easy. How much you asking for? We're probably gonna do about 20 as the base amount. That should cover most of the art. And probably that's about it. Most likely the art. Um because we have a hundred more cards. What's that? Man, you got nine thousand fifty nine backers? Yes. And I talked to Flip Switch about Magic Jack as well. He said he didn't do it right. He said he did not do it right. Unfortunately. Hey, and it is what it is, right? Nobody's perfect. Oh, hi. Why? Don't do that. Don't do it to me, I. Be normal. Thank you. Okay. What did he do wrong? Uh, he had a couple family members help out in the Kickstarter as well. He doesn't feel like he did it correctly based on what people have, what he's seen, and what kind of research he's done. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it's very. I mean, funding is funding, regardless of how you do it. It doesn't really matter. But um, there's some. There's. He said that if he could go back and do it again, he would do it a different way. So. Which is totally a fair thing. So I don't need these. Those suck. This is the right one. Behold, I have figured it out. Okay. Uh, we have the collection screen cooperating. We need to get to the collection screen after Okay. So what we need to do is if So if the if you upgrade if a card levels up, you can go to this screen to see what's happened. Right? Probably from the main menu, I'd say we need a button somewhere. Like we can put like honestly, we could put it right up here. This guy, right? One of those, this guy. Yeah. Okay, 
So up here. Right. Take another one. Go this way. Get rid of all this stuff. Now you know what? We're gonna get rid of all this stuff. We're going to change this to just a moon slice window. We're gonna actually put it up a little bit. like that. Um, like this, probably. And inside this, we're going to do a little text. Maybe that. So it's a CCL. Love it. Right, more on TikTok? I have. It's very hard to do good videos on TikTok. Um, we have a TikTok. I think, do I have a thing here for that? No. But I believe we are tiktok.com slash at static, static city. It's very difficult to get the right videos in TikTok. They have to be almost bad quality <laughs> to be like in the right thing in the right realm even um, let me go through and change out this main font to this is a, our CCL it's gonna be this color no honestly we should make it green or something something that sticks out so we can click on it Potential if you can intuitively understand the algorithm. Yeah, so the algorithm system is very interesting because it requires people to share your post. So it needs to be funny or in, like have advice or some kind of thing when people go, oh, I've got to show my friend. And if it doesn't get shown that way, the algorithm goes, nah, and drops it off. Right, so it's very difficult as a thing to do. Um, and it's, I, I don't, or I really don't know what the right way to go about doing that is, right? Um, one of those things, for sure. So, if it has been set... No, no, no. No, I want the pivot to be top. Button flourish, one click, send to blah blah blah. Uh, um, mm, main menu. Oh. Oh. This guy. Do not sort that at the icon. Okay. Public. Void. Set. Or, um, on CCL. Viewer. Okay. There's apps, yeah, I mean, there's, it's just, there's so much potential there and it's so difficult. And it's not at all an easy thing. Okay. So this is gonna be fader system dot fade out to scene. It's going to be game manager dot scene collection level. Cool. Is that all? That's it, right? Everything works. Reloader needs to be there. Oh, wow. At the end. Nice. 
So I said you can't back a project after the deadline. So what are you supposed to do? So there are ways to do that, right? The ways to go about doing that are to set up a thing called an Indiegogo post fund. Is after the after the funding is done, you can set up a thing to still get the backer rewards for a certain amount of time, where people can still back it. I believe there's a button on Kickstarter that allows you to just keep it open. But like the goals, you like you don't get any more stretch goals, yada yada yada. You can just you know up your up your whatever. Um, there are ways to do it now. There are ways to get extra backing now. Morning. can't get back. So now we need to push. Oh no, these buttons all should work. Hold on a second. Are you telling me that these buttons don't work? Should be able to get there, right? Let's see. We're gonna go through and we're gonna switch the, switch the text out next, the last thing before the end of the stream. You're telling me these buttons don't work. Okay, so inside the collection level, right, nav bar, these guys, right, interactable, off. These guys both need to go back. So, <clears throat> nav bar on collection. No, wait on in menu. Will it be a demo? There's actually current currently there is an active demo for people in Patreon. Uh, anyone who's part of the three dollar or more club gets an act gets to play the demo. Uh, outside of that, there are absolutely there's going to be a demo with the Kickstarter as well. And I think how we're going to set it up is you're going to get to pick one of three decks to choose from the beginning, similar to like uh, Pokemon, <laughs> where there'll be like a Fury deck, a Time Shift deck, and a On Reveal deck or something like that. And they'll have like cool names, right? And that's how the game is going to start for you is you'll get 14 cards based on that deck. And then you can update as you upgrade, you'll get more cards. That's the goal. Set active icon. Okay. Uh, on. On deck select. No. On. Play match. Play the decks. These guys. So, these need to come into here. doesn't sound right. No, 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 no. On play match here, on... We're just going to call this on the menu. Uh, and this is going to be scene menu. Okay. I'm going to edit decks. This is... Okay. Let's set the... Reloader as the main loading scene. Sorry. It should work.
Sick. Now we're here. We're here. Now we're back to this guy. Go back to here. Nice! It works so good. Oh no! Check for the plane now interaction. Forget that. Good thanks. One plane match. in it works it needs to now it needs to grow right so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to have like an amount a static number we're gonna call this amount to grow right and then when we do this start value is going to be minus amount to grow. Then we will do a coroutine. Private high enumerator. We're going to do grow. Okay. And then we will do yield, return, new, wait for seconds. <coughs> 0.5 value <clears throat> CCL fill dot do uh, tweening fill fill dot do value oh my god I can do value get out of here I'll do the actual profile Alright guys, I gotta get going. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Mega fun stream. Had a lot of fun. Got a lot done. It was a good day. Let's go and raid somebody. Let's see who's live on the internet. Uh, let's see here. Who can we go and bother? How about we go and see... Tim Boudet. Tim Boudet is an amazing dev. He's actually playing some games with some viewers today, so we're just gonna hang out with him. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will catch you later. Peace out. Stay awesome. See ya.